Hey guys, back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at some leaked stuff coming to Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so we have some leaked stuff to look at for Pumpkin Fest, along with a few things to look at for the upcoming Treasure Track. So let's go ahead and look at them. So we're going to start off by looking at some of the stuff that is already in-game. We got a new mount that was added today called the Davy Jones Plank. Um, this is supposed to be in the upcoming Treasure Track, which I think it's called the Sunken Secrets Treasure Track. So this is what it looks like. Um, it has a defense bonus of 60 and a dodge bonus of 40. It may have some other stats. Um, I don't really know. You can't really see them. And its description is Waterlogs Plank from the Deepest Depths of the Sea. So this does seem like it would come in the um, current uh, hard mode for Shipwreck Shore, but this is coming for the Treasure Track. It has a very similar name to the rewards that you get in hard mode Shipwreck Shore. Um, and then we also have a few mounts, I believe. Um, I think it was the Pocket, actually no, Claustro and um, Squibble uh, morphs. Not really anything too important there. They should be coming in the treasure track as well. And then we also do have a new pet that is somewhere down here, which is not Itronic. So this is a pet that has been leaked for uh, probably about four or five months at this point. Um, this is an evolution of Aquariot. So this is what it looks like. Um, it looks pretty cool. Um, it's water type, as you can see. Uh, it's stats on level 100, it's a health of 1873, power 799, dodge 501, defense 1104, and order of 106. And then here are its spells. It has smash, rejuvenate, tremor, and down portal. And then we can't see its attack animation here, so I guess I'll probably end up making a short about that. Um, I assume you can probably, um use it in game right now I, you could probably level up this to get this i would assume and then this is a protector and its description is noritronics use their exceptional tracking system in the aquatic homes to keep track of all of their favorite treasures so yeah that is everything that was added into the game today so now we're going to move on to some leaks that are for pumpkin fest all right, so we're starting off with a mount. This is Icon Mount 36, so it looks like just an orange leaf with a acorn on it. Um, here is the spine for it, so it's just the leaf and then a shadow, and then when you're wearing it, this is what it's going to look like. So this is just its idle animation. The front and, or just this and this aren't going to show anything, so I'm not gonna show those. And then we have the walk back, which, it's just what it looks like when it's walking. So we also have another mount that is going to come. These are both for Pumpkin Fest or like in the rewards for them. So this one sort of looks like a candy bag. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, here is the spine for it. This thing right here, I don't think it's too important. I don't think we're going to see it when we're actually wearing it. Um, we do have the bag and then the shadow right here. And then here is what it's going to look like in its idle form. So it'll just look like this. We also have the idle back, which as I said, is just this thing. We're probably not going to end up seeing it when we're actually using it. And then we have the walk front. This is what the bag is going to look like when you're walking around with it. I don't know if it's going to be like you're inside of it like a potato sack or if you're just going to be on top of it. So we'll have to see what it looks like when it's added into the game. Now we also have some new um, buddy rasterizations, I believe they would be. So we can go ahead and take a look at those. So these are for the newer um, Pumpkin Fest pets. So the ones that have been in the game for probably about two or three years. Spooky, you can see that its icon looks different and its uh, spine looks a little different as well. It sort of looks like it's glowing, um, but yeah, this got updated today. The other ones were also 
the spider and the pumpkin bat. The pumpkin bat's icon looks pretty cool. But when we're looking at the spider, this is what it looks like now. And then we also have the pumpkin bat right here, which looks pretty cool as well. Pretty different from what we had before, I believe. And then we also have a new pet that is going to be coming in this treasure track. We've already seen the Viper Cups version of this pet, which is going to be hopefully coming in the treasure track or in Pumpkin Fest as well, alongside of this. Um, this is basically the variance of that. So this is what it looks like. This is an evolution of Scarrow. And here is its spine. So nothing that you can really tell off of this. But we can put this into a spine viewer and we can see that it's going to look like this so i believe this is the attack animation we're about to see so yeah this is what it looks like this would be a little less like opaque so it would be more clear and it would actually look nice here it doesn't really look that nice we also do have the idle animation for it which is just it looking like this and then we have the walk animation which looks pretty nice as well so i believe that's the only other leaked pet that we are going to be getting for this um pumpkin fest so we'll just have this one and then the viper cups evolution now we also have some stuff for pumpkin fest right here which is pretty interesting so the wheel is going to be getting an update. This is what it's going to look like when you're actually spinning it. Um, this is like the wheel with that's going to have all the rewards on it. Here is the pointer that will be up here, which will show what your reward is. And then we have the wheel when it's like actually uh, out in Lamplight Town. I think that's what this will look like. And yeah, I think that was everything that was added into this. Here is a better look at the wheel that we're going to be seeing inside of Lamplight Town. It sort of looks like it has a pumpkin growing behind it in a way. It has a stem up here and some autumn themed leaves. Now we also have Statue Hollow Jack Magic Coin. So this is what's going to pop up when you click on the Hollow Jack statue. There is going to be one, we'll get into that in a second. But this is what is going to pop up when you've already done your daily battle against Hollow Jack. It'll show this icon, and then you'll have to pay like 5 or 10 Magi coin in order to battle Holly, Hollow Jack. Now we also have the one that shows when he uh, is active, and you can actually battle him when the statue is glowing up. So it will look like this. And yeah, you've probably already seen this animation before. So, we'll move on to an out or an outfit that will be coming to the game. Um, this sort of looks like a candy themed outfit, I would say. Um, so this is the outfit. We also have the wand, which I don't know if this is supposed to be a part of the set. It sort of seems like it could be. Um, but we'll just have to see what happens. So this sort of looks like a witch's broom. But right here we have this thing that sort of looks like a moon, I would say. And then here is what it's going to look like so, or when you're actually wearing it. So this definitely is a moon. Then we also have the boots, which these look pretty cool. Um, these sort of look like bug wings. And then I don't know what these yellow things are supposed to be. We also can see what it looks like when you're wearing it. I think this looks better than what the icon looks like. So that is pretty nice. And then I don't think there's a hat there might be. Yeah, there's not. So these are boots for um, a set that's sort of already in the game. These boots are new though. Um, I think these are, this is like the Luminite set. So um, they are getting a full set and it is going to be white and gray themed instead of the white or er, gray and yellow that it was before so these are what the boots are going to look like and then this is the outfit so you can see that um this stuff used to be yellow but now it's blue um we cannot see what it looked like before sadly though i didn't load up that image but we also have what the boots are going to look like when you're actually wearing them and then um 
Here's what the mask is going to look like now. I do think I actually have what it looked like before. So yeah, this is what it looks like before, and this is what it looks like now. So just made it look like what it's actually supposed to look like now. And then moving on, we have the wand, which this is what it looks like. Um, this is the icon for it. We also have what it's going to look like when you're wearing it. Um, not anything too new here. Then we have, um, some pet gear. This one sort of looks like a hat for Scarrow. Um, so that would be pretty interesting to see what it looks like on Scarrow. We also have another pet gear hat, which is just a piece of candy corn. We have a pet gear relic which this sort of looks like Plushkin's head in a way, um, but not really. So that is the other first pet relic. We also have this one, which is just a piece of candy corn. So the hat and relic that we got for the Scarrow one, I assume those would go together, and then these candy corn ones would go together as well. Um, and then we also have this, which is called Pumpkin Fest Statue Boss. So. This is what Hollow Jack is going to look like when he is in Lamplight Town. This will be replacing the statue that we have for Sir Concella right now. I think this one looks a lot cooler. I like how the um, pumpkin head on Hollow Jack is actually like glowing along with the horse's eye. I think this looks really cool. Uh, I don't think there's one for when it's not active. I guess I could maybe be in like the uh, title set, which was not updated today. Um, and then we also have this, which is called Spotlight. Um, I think this would probably just be around Hollow Jack when it's in Lamplight Town. Although I don't think this is going to be too important. We also have some new hairstyles, which would be coming to the game. This one, I kind of think that this is supposed to be like a Frankenstein themed haircut, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And then we also have this one, which looks pretty cool. Um, it's sort of like a mad scientist wizard, or woman. Um, so yeah, this is pretty interesting. Now we also do have some hair colors, I think, yeah. So this is just an orange. Um, it's probably a little lighter than the orange sherbet one that we have in the game already. We also have this one, which is like a dark purple. Um, we also have this one, which is just like a slime green, I would say. And this one, which sort of looks like a light blue, although I think we already have a hair color that looks pretty similar to this. So that will be pretty interesting to see what it will actually look like. So we do also have two relics. This one is Icon Spell Relic 79. So it looks like it's just a sun. I don't know what set this is going to be part of. I guess it would probably be a part of that, like, Witch's Brew and Candy looking set based on these clouds right here that was on the outfit. And then we also have another relic, which is one for Luminite. This one looks really cool. Um, I like how they actually put um, Luminite's face on it. So yeah, I think this relic looks pretty nice. And then we also have some stuff to look at in the metadata. Nothing that I think is too important. So we have this, which is called Weatherometer. Um, it just got some dashes added here. Nothing really important there. Um, here we can see that the Swivel Morph Marble was added along with the Claustro Morph Marble. There was no other Morph Marble as added. The Claustro Morph Marble will last for a minute and the Squibble Morph Marble will last for a minute as well. And then we have the Davy Jones Plank, which we saw that was added today. And as I had said, um, I thought it might have some other stats. It doesn't have health and it doesn't have power. So it's just the 60 defense and the 40 speed. Then we also have Aquariot being updated to have a third evolution. And I don't know what initiative is supposed to be, but that was updated from 83 to 105. Oh, that's um, its order in battle, I believe. So I think 105 is pretty high. None of this is too important. We can see that 
Aquariot's evolution was updated to be called Noritonic. And then, yeah, I think everything else would just be about Noritronic, which is right here. Um, I guess you can look at some of these stats if you're really interested in it. So I'll just scroll through these. And yeah, I think that was everything that was added. No, we did get a few pet hats that were added. The Inky Bonnet, which is a hard hat of sticky black ink from a squabble. I have no idea which pet hat that's supposed to be. We have the Tentacle Cap, which is a cap made in the shape of a tentacle from a creature in the watery depths. And then I assume we have Pet Relics. Yeah, Explorers Compass, a pet-sized replica of this popular tool. And then the Abyssal, Abyssal Isopod, which is a dried shell of a deep sea creature. So yeah, that is everything that was added today. So that is going to go ahead and end the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and bye.